Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to make this great homemade salsa. I actually won a few prizes for the salsa recipe. So my friend requested this for her party, so I'm making a huge batch for her. So here's what you'll need. I'm going to start by cutting off the tops and then cutting them in half and removing the little white hard part because I didn't cut far enough off my romas. Then I'm just going to give them a rough chop and then put them in the bowl. I am putting this in the food processor so they don't need to be really perfect. Just rough chop it and throw it in there and the food processor will do the rest. Now I'm going to do the same to my onion. I'm going to slice it and rough chop it and put it in its separate bowl by itself because when it goes in the food processor, it needs to go by itself. I'm just doing the same to my jalapeno. I'll have gloves for protection because this shit will burn your hand for 30 to 40 minutes. She asked that I remove the seeds from inside because they have some food sensitive people who get really affected by the heat. So I'm just going to remove those, clean them out and rough chop it and add it to the bowl with the tomatoes. If you're a person that likes their salsa spicy, you can go ahead and leave the seeds in. You can add more jalapeno seeds, more jalapenos. You can even add red pepper flakes to get it to the spicy consistency that you enjoy. Just adding a handful of cilantro for my garden so it's pretty fresh. Now she did say she wanted a little bit more garlicky than I normally do, so I got a whole bunch of garlic. I'm just gonna smash them to get them bruised. When you bruise garlic, they get an even better flavor than they normally would if you just leave them by themselves. It's wonderful, you should try it. Once they're smashed, I'm gonna go ahead and add them the bowl with the tomatoes. She had no preference whatsoever for lemon juice, so I just add about what I would normally add to my own. Just when you do yours, add to taste. All right, now I'm gonna do my green bell pepper. I'm just taking the stuff off the sides, throwing the cap away. I'm going to cut open my bell pepper, clean the inside, then rough chop, and then add it to the bowl with the tomatoes.
All right, then I'm gonna add some black pepper, just a couple of dashes. She requested no salt, so if you like salt, go ahead and add it to taste. I'm going to add my onions into the food processor. I do these first because sometimes the onions like to stick to the blades and then nothing else gets chopped. So I'll make sure I do it first and I just pulse it until it's about the consistency I want, which is kind of a little bit chunky. The size of yours will be depending on your taste, so just pulse it until you get the consistency you want. Once it's to the right consistency that you want, go ahead and add it to a big enough bowl where it can handle everything that you need to do. I just got a big, huge mixing bowl because that's kind of what I had to work with. So I have definitely have enough room to make sure everything is mixed properly. Once you have done that, go ahead and add the rest of your stuff in batches to your food processor as to not overwhelm it and everything gets blended evenly. All right, once you've done that, I mix everything up. And I know at this stage it doesn't look very appetizing or very good, but trust me, we still got some work to do. All right, go ahead and add your cans of tomato sauce. I have already put my fire roasted diced tomatoes in the food processor to not make them as chunky and added them in there. I'm sorry, I did not film it. But go ahead and mix everything together. I had to use three cans because I thought two was enough, but thank God I bought four, just in case. Once everything is mixed together how you like it, go ahead and add a couple of spoonfuls of sugar. Or if you make a small one, just a small one. Trust me, you will not taste the sugar, but it does help to prevent heartburn. You'll never even know it's in there unless you have seen me put it. All right, all that's left is to give it a little taste test. I'm sorry I only had Dor nacho Doritos, I had them left over from when I had taco salad night. But it still tasted pretty good. The, the salsa was spot on. Can't even taste the sugar, but to me it could use a little bit more white pepper flakes. That way it could be a little bit spicy, but it was to her specification, so. And that is how I make my homemade red salsa. Hope you guys enjoy this video and if you want to see more, go ahead and click subscribe to my channel. Be sure to click the notification bell and set your preference. And I'll see you guys in the next video.